this is new. I have to close tonight, so I was trying to, I don't know, I just figured out, well, I can just go ahead and record the vlog first thing Wednesday morning. Yeah, well, first thing Wednesday morning, Larissa got a doctor's appointment scheduled because I don't have a primary care physician. So I was like, because I got really, really sick. I'm like, I probably need to set up a primary care physician. That way I have somewhere to go if like something really bad happens. So I went to the doctor's appointment and then I also had $10 for Lane Brandt that expires tomorrow, tomorrow? Or it was today and I like eked by. But I went to Lane Brandt and got some shirts. I can show you. I'll park real quick. And then I'm, I'm planning on driving to go get lunch. I'm multitasking very efficiently here. Honestly, you should be very proud. So... Both shirts were on clearance and clearance had a buy one get one free deal so a plus the goal was to get shirts that i can wear with skirts so i got this shirt which i will wear with the skirt i don't know if you can see it very well it's purple purple so that's one and then i got one that looks like easter no see i'm still and now it's still i got it for sure for real this time I get this one. It's got like these cute little sleevey things here, which is neat. So got both of these with my $10 gift certificate thing. Spent $7 on two new shirts. Mom would be proud, right? And I need to remember to look there and not there. Cause this is where the camera is. It's not up there. Cause I'm always used to looking like up and in the middle of the whatever it is that I'm recording. That is not what we're doing. I'm gonna turn off my heat cause it is currently 65 degrees and rather steamy in a car with heat. So I'm um, driving to go get sushi because I've just been craving sushi like crazy and I'm not sure why. So didn't go and see a movie with Janisa last weekend. It's all right, we stayed home. It was very relaxing. I actually painted a picture, which I will take a photo of and put in here later for you guys. Uh, so the picture painting, our bathroom is space themed. And I don't know, we, Denise and I talked about putting Star Trek stuff in there and Doctor Who stuff in there and just have it. But I found this at Five Below and was like, matches the bathroom. Bought it and it's just like, we moved it from the old house to this one and had not painted it yet. So I was like, I just need to paint this. And so I only used like four colors in painting this painting. So I mixed all the colors together to the beautiful space thing that you see. The one thing I wish I had done, and there's like a, there's two light blue sections. I wish I just connected them behind that. And I feel like that would have looked more like space and less like, oh, I'm trying to mix space. I don't know, I think it turned out okay. Well, I, I was way more happy with it. And then Janice goes, oh, Space Jam. And I was like, oh, oh, it is Space Jam colors. Oh, meanwhile, I was just like, what colors? would pop out with a dark navy blue and a plum and still kind of count as complimentary. It's like, well, blues, blue and yellow are complimentary colors, but I don't have just straight up blue, it's navy blue. So I'm gonna make it more of a darker version of yellow. So an orange, right? And then purple and green are complimentary colors and it just didn't quite work out how I thought it would. Well, okay, red and green are complementary colors, but it's a very reddish purple. So I thought, anywho, turns out uh, that was also the mindset of somebody from the 90s, because that is effectively the Space Jam logo. Anyway, game night peeps and I have been hanging out. Uh, I, I missed game night for like two weeks in a row and finally made it this Monday and had a blast because I walk in the door and I'm always late because I come from Chick-fil-A, but I walk in the door and they're all around the table and they're playing Scategories, which Scategories is my favorite game ever. So I'm like, oh, Scategories. They're like, oh, great, Larissa's here. And now someone can give Stephanie a run for their money. So then like I get there and I did, I did very well. The first round, they had already played a round, but I just joined in on the second one. And then like we get going and I think I still ended up with the most points. Which is great. It's it's so strange because and like I told them, I'm like, you don't understand. Playing with my family, I rarely win. It's like it's always Aunt Christie or Mom or Aunt Sarah. Like it is never me. And they're like, well, you keep coming up with these answers that have alliteration. I'm like, you don't understand. You have to. You fall so far behind if you don't do that. But it was fun. I uh, let's see. I got to use one of Dad's favorites. It, there was Halloween costumes, and we rolled N. So. 
Naughty nurses got used. Dad's proud, I'm sure. And then we played um, a game of taboo, but it was Bible taboo. And I told him, I'm like, you guys are gonna wanna do the more advanced side, cause then it's harder for me, but you guys will have a leg up on that, cause they're all very, like, theologically intellectual. So we tried that biblical taboo, and they, they insisted on keeping it on the easy side. Okay, fine, we'll do that. Uh, but they put Stephanie and I on a team, so it was girls versus guys, and I'ma tell you right now, that's not, probably was not the best, just because I was, I was like, whoa, wait, the women who communicate with words more effectively than men are winning? And, like, nobody really commented on that, but I'm sure it, probably one of those comments that I make to be funny and people are like, she's insulting me. I was like, no, I literally, anytime I speak, I'm just trying to get people to laugh. Speaking of going to see a movie, Janice and I are going to actually go see a movie tomorrow night for the premiere of the next Marvel movie, Captain Marvel. Yes, it is a Marvel movie, and therefore I want to see it because I am an addict and need to. Uh, but also, Janissa is a major Captain Marvel fan. Like, she has Captain Marvel underwear. Like, she is so excited for this. I cannot even begin to put into words. Excited and also slightly terrified. Like, I'm worried that they're not gonna do something right, and then is gonna be upset. And then I'm gonna have to try to console her on some character's lore, of which I am not aware of or know anything about. And be like, oh yeah, they really messed that up. I don't know what she's talking about. But, I mean, it's a movie. It'll be great. The game crew is supposed to uh, come on out, not this Saturday, but next Saturday and bring their guitars again so we can make music and we're probably gonna go to that coffee shop again to play games together, which is great. Cause I, I don't know what it is, but I have been very into playing games. Not like lying and manipulating people, but just like playing games with friends. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm like, oh, I have friends. And that was something that before like I didn't really have down here. But I think part of it also may be that I'm more competitive than I realize. And I get very competitive in these games. Speaking, okay, so there's a game that came out that's a battle royale version that I am very excited about and I wanna try to play, but I don't have a Nintendo Switch or access to it. So let me let me rewind a little bit. For those of you not a millennial uh, or not video game inclined, there is a type of video game out called Battle Royale, which means that you hop in a match with, normally it's a nice round number of people, like a hundred, and everybody is playing this game and you're trying to whittle away the competition until you are the last person alive. Um, it's, and it's typically like with shooting games. So like there's one, it's kind of like Hunger Games. Right? Everybody's in this area and they have to try to kill everybody else and be the last person alive. So if anything, Minecraft Hunger Games was the thing that started this. And then there was a game developer that's like, oh, this would be a great idea for a shooting game. So they made PUBG. Like you start with a helicopter that flies across a map and you're on a team with either one other person or three other people and you choose where to land and you have to pick up like your guns and your ammo and your shields and your grenades or whatever and then there's a circle that forms and if you're outside the circle you lose health and you die you so you want to stay inside the circle and then the circle shrinks and so there's been a lot of different kinds of games that have been made like this there's a new one for the call of duty that came out black ops or something I don't, I don't know all the names for those. They're not my favorite kind of game. But there is one that came out that is Tetris Battle Royale. And if I don't know a game that I've ever wanted to see my mom or my Aunt Christy play more than Tetris Battle Royale. It, it's the normal Tetris game, right? So do, 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 do. But then can do the thing where you can drop blocks quick. So like there's a little shadow on the bottom. And if you see where it lines up, you can hit a button and it places it there and then the next one starts because it's all about being quick right you want to be faster than everybody else so not only are you playing in the middle of the screen but then all the outsides of the screen is all other 99 people playing and then you can target them and send every time that you do one block like it doesn't send anything if you do two blocks at once it sends like an extra line to the bottom of their screen and everything that they're playing on jumps up so like if you get a Tetris, you can send five lines to someone else's screen. And then like if they had stuff halfway up the screen, now they're out of the game. It's very cool. I did a lot of Tetris verses on Facebook 
which was just like you versus one other person. And I was decent. I wasn't bad. I wasn't great. But I do thoroughly enjoy Tetris. And watching my guys that I watch on YouTube, watching them play this game, I was like, and I, I was so just reactive to it and a nerd, I'm absolutely sure. But, I mean, looks fun. I want to try it. I actually was talking about it to the game night crew and they're like, oh, and then one of them's like, do you have a Switch? And I'm like, no. No, I do not. Like, I can't afford that. And honestly, if I was gonna buy any game system, like, I really, I really want a PS4. Just because it has the Bluetooth capability, oh, Bluetooth, uh, Blu-ray disc playing capabilities. It has, uh, like, I can put Hulu, Netflix, all that jazz. And, like, we have Chromecast, so I can still do that anyway from my phone and device. But, I don't know, I just, I'm always more partial to Sony. Like, I have a Nintendo 64. I love Nintendo. I think they have great products. But, like, I grew up with Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon, and you just can't compete with Naughty Dog. And Sony does way better with story-based games than, uh, I don't know, than Nintendo, because Nintendo did a really good job with Breath of the Wild. But I, I'm still gonna argue, Sony does a really good job with story-based games, more so than Nintendo. Because the majority of Nintendo's top-selling games are all very competitive, internet-based. And as someone who was raised in the middle of a cornfield in Indiana, internet was not a commodity that I was used to. Pretty sure we had dial-up until I went to college. So I know now that I live in a big city, but I'm just, I'm used to the Sony controller. I'm used to the Sony products. So I think I still want a PS4. And then also there's Spider-Man. But yeah, so I guess if anybody has a spare PS4 lying around, uh, I volunteer as tribute. Sorry, right. I don't really need a game system right now. I feel like there's lots of things I should be doing instead of sitting on my butt in the living room playing video games, like maybe working out that's a thing. Or recording a video uh, for my vlog. That way I can edit it and then submit it on time. Fun. Are my parallel parking skills up to snuff? I don't know. We're gonna find out. This is the moment of truth. I'm recording everything on film. <laughs> Terrifying. I pulled up next to it. I'm going this way. And then once the front of my car is about even with that, I need to start spinning this way and go fast, 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 fast. And I don't think I got far enough over. Hmm. I'm very lucky in that these are very forgiving parallel parking spaces. Uh-huh. 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 Huh? Eek it. Eek! You know, if I was a just honest person, I would just edit this down so that way you think that I parked perfectly the first time. <laughs> Alas, I do not think I am. Alright, look at that. I parallel part and I think I did pretty good. I got, I don't know if you can see the car behind me. Oh, that's because the camera's right there in front of my face. So that's the car behind me and then, wah, that's the car in front of me. So, not too shabby. All right, well, thank you for joining me on my drive. I'm going to go eat sushi. I hope that you guys had a great week and that you have a great week this next week. Oh, I went to Top Golf. Uh, so here's a video of me trying to swing at Top Golf. Yeah, it didn't go so hot. I lost both games. I was, someone had to, so I took one for the team. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. Way more fun than I thought it would be. So, it was cool. Anyway, uh, yeah. See you next week.